I am Dave Williams, Government Relations Director. And I'm Jane Wall, Government Relations Advocate. It's important to understand through this session when a bill or a policy issue is moving forward or needs to be stopped, there are certain cutoff dates during the session when legislators make a decision whether something's going to move forward or not. During the course of the session, we'll often communicate with you about what's going on, understanding what those cutoff dates are, and why it's important at certain times to voice your opinion, both to us and more importantly, to your legislators. There are literally, literally hundreds of bills that are introduced every legislative session. And a bill must go through a pretty rigorous process to, before it actually becomes law. And it's harder than you would think to get a bill through. So let's drill down. After a bill is introduced in either the House or Senate, it is referred to a specific committee. In committee, the bill can receive a public hearing and then may be voted out of the committee. When this happens, it's called executive session. A bill then either moves to the Rules Committee, or if there are fiscal implications, to a fiscal committee, such as House Appropriations or Senate Ways and Means. Once it's in rules, it can be pulled to the House or Senate floor. Once that happens, it may come up for a vote. And if that happens, it heads on over to the opposite House to go through the same process all over again. Not only are these steps important, there are important cutoff dates too. These are the dates when a bill has to be voted out of a committee or voted off the floor. For the most part, if a bill is not acted upon by these cutoff dates, then they are considered dead. Now, not all bills have to follow these cutoff rules. First, there are bills known as Necessary to Implement the Budget, or NTIBs. These bills are reliant upon the budget, which is generally voted on in the final days of the legislative session and can be acted upon at any time. Second, some dead bills can be revived by amending them onto another bill that is still moving through the process. While this doesn't happen often, issues we once thought were dead for the session can crop up at unexpected moments. The biggest cutoff date of all is sine die, the day when law states the legislative session must end. AWC's goal during the session is to ensure that bills that are a priority to us continue to move through the process and those that are a threat don't progress. At those times, it's important that you be in communication with your legislators by phone, by email, or a meeting. There may be times when we send out an action alert about a particular item having to do with keeping a bill moving forward or a problem bill or a problem section of the budget that we would like to see stopped. When we send these action alerts, timing is critical. The day we send them, we need you to call. If you don't, it may be too late. We are looking forward to working with you and hearing from you this session.